We know how hellish and dystopian the Great Reset and the Fourth Industrial Revolution could turn out to be. We're already living in a nightmarish New World Order as it is. No human contact, no love, no hugs, no hobbies, no handshakes, no leisure pursuits, no public gatherings, no family get-togethers, no parties, no pubs, no concerts, no spontaneity in life, no meaning, no joy, no smiles, no hope, no point. This is intolerable, and it's designed to be intolerable. As Justin Barris pointed out in his speech, if there's someone in your life who keeps making you miserable, that might actually be their intent all along. But there is something you must consider. As dark as things may seem, I believe that we've been given a gift, those of us who can see at least. It's an ability to see the truth, and there has never been a greater privilege to be on the side of all that is good, righteous, and beautiful in this life, all that is meaningful, we get the opportunity to stand against the darkest, most powerful, insidious, satanic, and psychotic evil that humanity has ever faced. We should see this as an honor and a privilege, because the quality of life, and indeed human life itself, is under such attack. There has never been a better time to truly be alive in every sense of the word, because life and the value of truly living it to its fullest has never been more important, more precious, and more worthy of appreciation and protection. Most of humanity all over the world does not understand or realize that the very essence of being human is under attack. To truly be human is to be free to be exactly who and what we are and to live as freely as we possibly can with each other, accepting all of the risks that come with being in the world and of the world. Those of us who see the truth have been called to defend this, no matter what the costs to ourselves and no matter how difficult the challenge may be, there is no higher a responsibility and no cause more noble. The challenge is so tremendously great because it is so worthwhile.